happy October. I'm going to do your reading. This is a general reading. If you're looking for something a little more personal, um, please check out my website. I have more about me on there, and I have uh, an array of readings that I do there, personal readings. So check that out, VeniceItalyTarot.com. Okay. Just so you guys know, too, I shuffle after every um, reading, and I clear the energy, so you are getting... Um, a, a, a fresh read specifically for you. I know I don't shuffle as long as a lot of the other readers, but there are some videos that I've watched where I'm like, for the love of all, I don't need to watch a shuffle for 10 minutes. So just so you know, I spare you that and I, uh, I do it uh, between videos. So there you go. Wow. You water signs have a lot going on. Like a lot at one time. Oops. I'm going to take these guys because they like flung, flung out. So we're taking them. All right. In the overall overall theme of this reading, we have the Knight of Cups. He is, to me, the, the knight in shining armor. That's what he is. Um, and that could be in a love relationship, but it could also be in someone who is just a wonderful, wonderful friend. Um, or it could be energy. It just could be that that energy, that, that great free-flowing energy. Um, can also be what that is. We'll get, we'll, we'll kind of see where it all levels out here. Oddly levels out. Um, uh, what we need to know um, is the temperance card. I adore her because anything that happens in life, good, needs to be in balance. And that's what she's all about. She's about, um, moderation, balance, new beginnings, um, a, a do-over, a start, not a do-over. She's a cleaning the slate. It's, it's starting something fresh from a healthy, balanced perspective, um, is what she's at. Um, now that was what you need to know. What you need to embrace here, kids, is the magician. And again, I, I don't like that name, the magician, because that to me means that something poof just appears. That's not the case. What he's about is manifestations, what you want to manifest in your life. He's about law of attraction. He is about focusing your time and your energy on what you want. And it, it, I, I've seen it happen time and time again, including in my own life. It changes your life instantly. All it takes is your dedication, your focus, and your time. And it comes in like the wind, guys, I promise. Um, what you need to um, be cautious of is the Ace of Cups. And I think that that is showing up in this position because it's overwhelming emotion. It's something so uh, out of left field that in a wonderful way that it, it just overwhelms you. And I think it's showing up in that position because you're not used to that. So the air of caution on that is take it in. It wouldn't be coming to you if it wasn't meant for you. Embrace it. Don't start the, I don't deserve this. Don't start the negative self-talk. That's a great card to have. And it's showing up in that position because you are worthy. You are absolutely worthy. And you're in a place now that you've been working to make it happen. So just, you know, just embrace it. It is meant for you. No one got the wrong address. It's meant for you. Um, where you go from here is the Ace of Wands. That's why I'm telling you, open the door, you know? I mean, it's, 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 it's meant for you. Um, the Ace of Wands to me is the thumbs up from the universe saying, whatever you want right now, go for it. 
um, you've got the green light. And in those times, um, I've seen it again happen over and over and over again, and it's also happened in my life. When I start to move towards something, even one step, the universe will give you a thousand steps right behind you and push you right into the direction where you're meant to go. So just take the thumbs up. Um, oh, this is wonderful. I want to say, guys, that this is, um, I think this is a relationship. I don't. I, I really think this is more of a relationship. Um, and it may start out as um, someone that you meet that that you just don't, you know, that's not what you met for, but it's what it turns into. Um, the overall theme with the Oracle cards is attachment. And that is clearing the field, clearing out everything. Don't get stuck in old mind thoughts. That's why I think this came up. I didn't even think about that at the time. I think that that's why that the Ace of Cups came up in that position. Let go of what doesn't serve you, and that includes the mind, the mindset that oh, I, I don't deserve this. Let go of everything that's no longer serving you. Um, people, places, things. That's across the board. Uh, let me finish the reading before I'm getting so excited here. Um, what you need to know. This is the Caring Connection card. And that's why I said, a lot of times when that card comes up, you would think by the, the cover that it starts out automatically as a love card. It doesn't. It starts off as that person that comes into your life um, that you develop this amazing relationship with. And it does turn into something more. Something more on, it's got to be on a, um, like a karmic level. Because this card is a card of lifelong marriage. It's a card of balance. It's a card of balance. It's a card of um, helping each other and realizing that it's not either or. You both help each other grow. It's that, you know, it's that couple that's been married for 40 or 50 years. You know, they're in their 90s and they're still married, you know, and talking to each other. So um, that's what that card is about. What you need to embrace is the adjacent possibilities. And this just came up in another reading. I don't remember which one it was, but I love this card too because this card is a reminder that um, this person coming in may not be someone that you're normally attracted to. Uh, it might be someone you meet somewhere you normally don't go. It's something out of the norm where this all comes together. Um, so don't don't write people off unless they're crazies. I just want to reiterate that. Now I know this card came up in another reading because I remember myself. I hear myself saying that. Um, there are many doors opening to you here that you don't even see yet. And I think that that, again, I'm going to reiterate why this came up in the warning spot, so to speak. All this stuff is happening to you because you are open to receptive. it. Um, stay that way. What you need to, um, she, okay, I'm going to drive it all home now. See these, they both came up in the same position. Damn, I'm good today. This is the angel of love. She came up in this position because of what I just said. Don't cut yourself off. Um, this person may be someone that you think you never in a million years could have attracted or never in a million years wanted, you know, anything to do with a person like you. This is someone so out of your ordinary, you know, what you think uh, could be attracted to you that you may shoot yourself in the foot here. That's why this is showing up in the position. You deserve this. The universe will not send you someone that you don't deserve. And that includes the bad relationships too, guys. It's Lessons and blessings are what come to our lives. If someone isn't here in the blessing position, they're here to teach us a lesson. So everybody serves a purpose. Um, where you go from here, this is the community card. This is that you're surrounded by people um, that are like you, your new circle. Um, this relationship is going to open more than one door for you. 
in your life. Your life is going to be looking back a year from now. You're not even going to recognize your life prior to now. And if this isn't happening right this second, it's happening very soon. This is so huge that I'm not even going to limit it to October. This will absolutely take place before the end of the year. And your life is going to be completely different. This is a major, major change here, guys. And it's a relationship. I, I love to see good relationships come to be out of the blue, out of places that you never thought were possible. Leave yourself open is going to be my suggestion. Please don't cut yourself off. You're worth everything that's coming to you. Um, I hope you have a wonderful September, and I hope that I helped you in some way. Thank you.